Hey guys, Sintra6 here, and welcome to the 8th episode of Questlog, my hopefully daily series in which I give out my opinions on anything that catches my attention. So, episode 8, what is it going to be about? Uh, it's going to be about something that's been bothering me and something that has been consuming my life lately. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have an addiction, an obsession. It is destroying my social life. It is ruining friendships and relationships. It is just destroying my life. And you want to know what it is? It's Persona 5. Ha! Huh, got you there. But here is what's going on in my gaming life right now. So Persona 5 came out on April 4th. I'm recording this on April 9th. And in the span of five days, it has completely ruined me. How so, you may ask. Here's how. So... These are pretty, this video is pretty much going to be my initial impressions of Persona 5 coming from a long time Persona fan. And I got to say, guys, it's blowing my expectations away. It is exactly what I wanted it to be. It's not letting me down in any way, shape or form. And it is just awesome. It is super stylish as an RPG. It's super unique. It's more Persona. What else can you ask for? So... As you can tell by now, my expectations were really high for this persona and they were not let down. So some more backstory on it. I got the Take Your Heart edition, spent some good money on that. Got the limited edition steel book, got the art book, the CD, all that stuff, the bag, which I'm actually using quite heavily now. It's become like my everyday bag. So please don't make fun of me for being such a huge geek. Or you're welcome to do so. I don't give a fuck. So, Persona 5. Let's get started on my impressions. Going from Persona 4, which was the last one I played, and beforehand Persona 3, um, my addiction really started with those games. They were something that I looked forward to. The, the thing about Persona games, for those of you that haven't played them yet, is that they are extremely addicting because... Think of it like this. The thing that's addicting about mobile games is that you can pop in and pop out and you can choose to do one thing and then do another and just keep going with your day. So you will be in there for a second and you play like one round of like Candy Crush or something. Like I'm not aware of a lot of games, mobile games. So that's just the first one that came to mind. You know, you play a round of like Candy Crush, right? Then you go about your day. And then you come back and play another round. And then you go. And then you come back and play another round. So that, because you're getting it in small doses, is what makes it so addicting. Is what makes keeps you coming back. Because you're like, okay, just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. So that's the same thing and same formula with Persona. With Persona, you know, it's based... It's not based, it's structured in this daily format. So you can choose to do certain things throughout the day. And you can choose what happens throughout those days. So you can hang out with your friends. You can try and get a girlfriend. You can, you know, work your part-time job. You can study. You can go to the arcade. And all of these affect your personality and attributes in the game and how your game progresses. So then, before you reach the deadline and you screw yourself over, you got to beat the dungeon. So you, you can spend almost an unlimited amount of uh, this time around the dungeons. Like, I remember Persona 3. Your people would get tired. And that changed in Persona 4. In Persona 4, you could be there as long as you want it. In this one, they brought back sort of a limit on those things. So the limit is that you can spend as much time as you want on the dungeons, except that you got to be sneaking around. Remember, you're a thief, you're a bandit. So if you get caught too many times and the meter gets to 100, you'll be kicked out of the palace. So you got to watch out for that. But aside from that, you can almost spend an unlimited amount of time in the palace, but the rest of the game, which is the bulk of the game, where all of the major story happens, uh, is on that daily structure. So you do one day, and then you're like, you know what? I can do another day. You know what? I can do another day. You can. You know what? Let me do another day. I think I can get more stuff done. And that is what makes it so addicting, that you have that syndrome of just one more, one more, one more, one more. I want to know more. I want to know more. And it also doesn't help that it's so cleverly written. It's funny. It's very personable. Like, you get attached to the characters. There's just so much going for the Persona series that 
you know, people get tired of hearing it and a lot of people get tired of saying it, but it doesn't make it any less true. So Persona 5 definitely nails it in that perspective. It continues on the Persona legacy and the characters so far are super charming, super likable. Um, so far, I just got Anne and I just beat the first boss. As a matter of fact, it's running in the background here. You, you won't be able to hear it because I paused the game just to talk about it. So, you know, going forward with this Persona 5 thing is that the style is just different and it's very, very, very stylish. It's drawn, well, the, the actual animation part of it like that the anime parts are very well drawn and very well made the art style of the game is very different like you can definitely tell it's persona but it's different it's clearly different persona 4 was different from persona 3 and persona 5 is different from persona 4 and uh, so far and so on so what can you expect out of this game just fun it's just fun what are you doing here go buy it go play it i honestly want to stop this video and continue playing it but i'm here because I just have these words that I want to get out about it. So just keep trying to, you know, go about days and persona and all that stuff. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It's turning into a rambling of a madman. But, you know, we're going to continue with this train wreck of a video so far. So the only negative thing about Persona 5 that I can think of so far is the ban on Twitch and just recording in general. So I'm not a big trophy guy, so but I did notice the difference of it wouldn't let me take a screenshot or have a little video clip or save any anything I wanted to share on it. So I was just like, why? Okay, so let me try and record this. I was initially going to put some Persona 5 recordings in here, but I decided against it because I don't want to have a copyright claim. I don't think it's worth it, especially since I'm starting out YouTube and I don't want to end my career prematurely. But that's the only thing that I think is negative about it, that people can't share it because now people won't find out enough about it as they had before. So a lot of games become super popular on Twitch and then a lot of people get excited for it and they decide, you know what, I'm going to buy it. And I think that's negative in Atlas's part. I don't know why they did that. I mean, I can understand why they did it. I can understand that they won't, they don't want people watching the game and not playing it, but I think it's an old school mentality and it's a very Japanese mentality of, you know, no spoilers, no anything, go out and buy it yourself, go out and play it yourself. But out here to the West, it kind of ruins the mood, but not enough to get me to stop playing the game or get the majority of people to stop playing the game. And so far it's getting heaps and praises uh, from almost every reviewer, for example, they got a 9.7, amazing on IGN, on Metacritic it is at 94, uh, the user scores are on the range of 9.0, and it's kind of bullshit, the user ratings, because I saw a bunch of them and they're like, oh, I don't like anime, that's not a reason to not like a game, you stupid fuck, but won't complain on that front. Uh, as far as the IGN video, I watched the whole video review and I was actually surprised because they didn't mention a single negative aspect of the game, yet they didn't give it a 10. Hmm. Uh, they did mention a bunch of negative things on the Zelda Breath of the Wild video, but they did give that one a 10. So I'm like, well, you don't have a single complaint about Persona 5, yet you have quite a couple of minor complaints and some major complaints on sell the breath of the wild and you give that one a 10. I think that's a little bit unfair. Uh, it's fair and unfair because Zelda sort of really did push forward the whole everything is destructible and you can do whatever you want, play the game how you want it genre. You know, it really pushed forward open world games in general. But I think it was a little unfair to give, you know, Persona 5 a 9.7. But, you know, to each their own. To me, it's a 10. To them, it's a 9.7. You know, we have different tastes. But at least it got a really high score. And that's what I'm really happy for. So, without further ado, guys, please seriously consider getting Persona 5. It is awesome. And it's one of my favorite games of the year so far. 
and I played Horizon, and I haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, so I can't attest to that quality. Like I said in my previous video, I didn't have a Nintendo Switch. This one's being recorded right afterwards. So I just want to put myself and be as real as possible for you guys out there. I might not sound the best. I might not be the best reviewer out there. I might not have the best voice. But you can count on me to keep it real and give my honest opinions and, you know, just give you kind of like a homeboy's perspective on games. All right? brother that's what happens please guys keep it real in the comments uh tell me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments are you enjoying persona 5 so far what are your thoughts on the whole twitch and just recording controversy surrounding atlas right now uh what are you looking forward to in the game uh, that you haven't seen yet how far are you into the game some of you guys might be a ridiculous like 20 hours into the game i think that's obscene uh, i think you need to sleep i think you need to get a social life and that's going to be the topic of the night's video that i'm recording afterwards so look forward to that um, like always if you enjoyed the video leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to support me on patreon i have the link down below in the description and like always, guys, see you around for the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for agreeing or disagreeing with me. Thank you for having a conversation. I really appreciate you guys being here. And I hope that I can become a better speaker for you guys in the future. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a nice morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you are listening to this. And peace.